what's up guys welcome to another episode today is sunday march 19th we're out here at mcintosh just got out here <laughs> appreciate it you too <laughs> but uh uh, weather's supposed to get up to about 56 degrees out here. Water temperature's probably around 51. Uh, they had a tournament out here. I heard there was a five or a seven pounder caught, so I'm hoping we can get on some of those big girls too. Uh, here's a look at the lake, and hopefully we can get back with you with some fish. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, just a little update. Uh, getting blown around pretty good by this wind even with the anchor so <laughs> drop the anchor <laughs> no, but uh we decided to come back here in this cove and try to find a spot where the wind is blowing into the point and get high behind the point that way it'll shelter you behind the wind but also uh the fish will stack up right you know where that break is so we'll see how it pans out we'll get back with you Why you cast right on top of me? I'm trying to work my way over there. I just wanted to hit the point. Dang, as soon as I start recording. Finally hooked up with a tree. That's so why I'm finally with our first fish of the day. Bring it on in here on the crankbait. We've been out here for hours. We was about to give up. We had that crankbait on all day. It finally paid off, I guess. What's that, a cotton cordell? I'm in the tree. I was trying to get us out of the tree. It's a good one. Yeah. On the Carolina rig. On my Enigma rod. Nice one. I wasn't giving up. Oh, we ain't got the net, huh? <laughs> my net man ain't, he ain't on his job. And I told him I was going to get him on that Carolina rig. Nice. I told him. How y'all like that? We all stayed right. out here all day. We was going to wait on him. That fish out here in about 10, 15 feet of water. <sighs> I couldn't let Antoine out there. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Man, we've been out here all day, y'all. It's been a grind. This is my, my first bass ever caught on, I caught on a Carolina rig. Probably my only my second or third one. That's a good two-pounder. On the Enigma. This thing is so sensitive. He swallowed that lizard. hook out I'll get back with you all right guys here's the release about a two pounder out there in the middle of this cove there she goes there we go little one that Carolina rig is getting them today turned on all of a sudden back here in this pocket and we're in the tree again I think that's the story for today get in the tree <laughs> look literally in the tree <laughs> that's not the one I wanted but uh Back there in the middle of that pocket, I'll show y'all the presentation in just a second. But uh, just an eight inch lizard, dyed the tail with uh, some, what is it, JJ's Magic in the chartreuse green pumpkin lizard. And throwing a half ounce 
wait. I'll show you guys when I get out of this tree. Well, here we go. Throwing a half ounce weight with a clear bead and black swivel. And I'm telling you, I haven't fished a Carolina rig in about two years, but I was desperate to catch a fish today, so it's paying off. We, we had to get deeper. We were fishing shallow all day. And we finally figured out some type of pattern. I'm just making as long as cast as possible. And I let it sink to the bottom. And then I'm just one, two. So that way the bead is popping the uh, sinker. And it's giving the uh, lizard some action too. But it's just one, two. Just let it fall back down. One, two. And hopefully we can get another one for you guys. The good thing about the Carolina rig is you, you still got the lure up off, you know, kind of slowly floating, but the sinker's up ahead of it. So it's not just like a normal Texas rig, which they see all day, every day. Let's try to cast on the other side of this point. It's getting late in the evening. It's probably what, five o'clock? We've been out here since 10 or 11. We didn't catch the first fish till about four. <laughs> Slow day, grind. Hey guys, I'm gonna let Antoine do the wrap up today since he figured him out and put us on the fish. So Antoine, what do you have to say? Well, you know, started off wrong. We was on top of them basically, or in front of them. They was behind us the whole time. Switched it around, started fishing a little deep, had more reactions. Yeah, basically. We uh, fished probably from one to five feet for most of the day. And try to we fish spinner baits, fish rattle trap, fish under spin, fish near rig, and not even a nibble. Antoine was even trying to catch some crap. It was just nothing shallow. But we finally uh, backed up off of him on a point, and uh, well, actually, Antoine got the first fish in the middle of a cove on a crankbait, and that gave me a hint like, okay, fish a little bit deeper. So I had already tied on a Carolina rig to do that exact thing. And um, I made one cast and then he hooked his on the crankbait and we went into the tree. Got my line snagged in the trolling motor. It was a, a bloopers part two, but I definitely wasn't recording that. But uh, we finally, uh, we fished that cove for about five or 10 more minutes, no more bites. And we found them in another cove and that's the two that I caught and that was really all of the bikes we had uh, the lake was about to close it took us a while to troll back but I mean I, I thought they would have been a little bit more shallow we, the weather's been warming the last two days more than it's been uh, all week but I guess that cold front over the past week really had them deeper than what I anticipated uh, but with the full moon I just thought with a little bit of warm days they would have pushed up a little bit more but it didn't happen um, but we got that experience to go in the next time and hopefully you guys learned something from this video uh, please feel free to leave any comments down below like and subscribe if you choose I definitely appreciate the support 